Yo, what's good, YouTube? Scrum here, back in the video for you guys today. Today, we're showing you guys how to control recoil on every gun in Apex Legends, man. Simple. This is the number one secret. Before we get right into it, man, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to this video, man. We really appreciate it. We're almost at 2K, baby, on YouTube, man. We're getting there, man. We are we are pushing through. We're quite a ways away, but we're almost there at the same time. You know what I mean? So be sure to that like and subscribe button. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. And uh, if you guys want to follow my Twitch so you can play with me live. Or you want to watch me live? Be sure to follow my Twitch. Uh, follow my TikTok as well. We upload content every single day, and <clears throat> follow my Twitter because we are very, very active on Twitter. All the links are down in the description. And now let's get right into the game plan, man. All right. The first thing first, man, is <clears throat> the number one secret, man. If you guys are on controller, and even works with mouse and keyboard, like you can just scroll down. You know, just go down. Okay, like this. Yeah, I'm new to mouse and keyboard, but I don't, I don't use mouse and keyboard, but you just, you just go down, look at that, beam, you know, beam. So there's that, I didn't mean to that. But, <clears throat> now on controller, man, all you do is the right thumbstick, man, unless you guys play the left thumb, thumbstick, but, uh, if you do that, you're kind of weird, to be honest. <laughs> but the left thumb, the right thumbstick, man, okay, they look around, control your recoil and everything, all you want to do is when you aim, is pull down on it. Like that. I missed a few bullets, it's okay. I just woke up, you know? But look at that. It's, 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 like it's a beam, bro. You know what I mean? Look at it. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't miss, alright? You, you, just, you, just, you just don't really miss, you know? It's very simple. And I know, the R301, man, doesn't have that much recoil. It really, yeah, I know. I know. It really don't. And, I didn't mean to grab that. But what you, what you guys want to do is, when you guys do do this, don't use any attachment, okay? Except for a sight. I mean... Usually my practice, I usually start with no attachments, not even a sight, and I would just keep on, like, I would keep on just doing this, okay, just absolutely just shredding these enemies, you know? I know I know they're not moving and everything, but, uh, like, still, like, just <clears throat> keep shooting the enemies, you know? Um, I got another setup, another, uh, practice that you could do, uh, as well. My aim is a little off right now, this is my first time hopping back onto this, so you but look at this, no recoil, man. Most of these guns are pretty easy to control. Um, but, but, yeah, man. Like this is, look at this. It's beams, bro. Beams, 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 beams. If you guys want to do this, it's simple as do this, man. Just sit in this middle platform, man. Pack this with no, no attachments, man, alright? No attachments, okay? <clears throat> and then slowly upgrade the sight if you can. But, like... Yeah, the recoil doesn't have, I mean, the 301 doesn't have much recoil, but I don't know about you guys, but I can't really control it that well right here. Like the three times, you know. Um, yeah, it, it's a pain in the butt right there. It really, really is. But, um, but yeah, like, this is an easy, easy, lemon squeezy, man, all right? You know? Um, this is what I do. I know there's a glitch that, or uh, not a glitch, but a thing you can do to where you can make all these uh, come at you. But um, I don't usually do that. I, I, I honestly personally do not, but you guys might too, might do that. Now, the other little thing I was gonna do, uh, let's add the, the mag right here. And what you wanna do is stand right in the middle of here and try to hit like, uh, is it like three, like 400 right here on that target and that target right there. Just try, just try your best to reach like 400 or something on it. Or no, I guess he's like three. I think yeah, hit like 350 or something like that. Yeah, th try to hit 300 if you can to help get your aiming in gear. You know. You know what I mean? This will help for tracking on controller and mouse and keyboard. But if you guys, you guys do play mouse and keyboard, I highly suggest using um, Aim Labs. There's another one, I forget the name of it, but I forget that. Yeah, I forget the name of it, but uh, I would use that as well. But I prefer Stream Labs. I mean Stream Labs. Uh, Aim Labs because I'm just one I'm more familiar with. But yeah, you just keep on doing that over and over again, man, and just keep on doing that. If you guys want to know my settings, man, I'll leave that link down in the description. Um, but yeah, guys, it's just simple. Bro. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, man. And it's easy. 
Never miss a shot again, man. I mean, I still have to miss a little bit here and there, man. Especially in, like, really choke spots where you're like, oh, my God, you're freaking out. Big key, man, is confidence, man. That's all you want to do is confidence, all right? And, yeah. So, guys, stay tuned, man, because we got some movement videos coming here soon. Uh, especially a really cool Pathfinder move that you can do to people, which is uh, really neat. Really, really neat. Um, who has to do this video, man? Look at this. It's, it's simple, bro. It's simple. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I got one more for you guys right here. Um, that's my, uh, my, my go. Um, if, are you guys struggling to hit your wingman shots? I know I do sometimes. That's why here's a really fun warm-up to do. Not really fun, but I say it, it's frustrating. Um, I don't need that many. Okay. Stand right here, you know? Okay. Here's your target. You don't want to hit this target. You want to hit these six, okay? And you can, you can go slow, you can go fast, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you hit the targets, okay? So you want to do is, is start right here. One, two, three. Missed that one, see? Back, and then go bam, right here. And then do this. Just basically do that. You want to focus on snapping to your target like this, you know? Ooh, yeah, let's reload. I'm gonna grab a better, a better mag just in case I keep missing. <laughs> Cause it happens, man, it happens, bro, all right? This is... It's been more difficult than it looks. It really, really is. But. Like that. Just like that. So you want to go back. Oh. Okay. You want to do is go back here. Bam. Back. 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 Just like that. It helps with, it helps with your uh, wing main shot, man. It's super simple, dude. It's simple, super simple. Look at me. I'm beaming already. I know they're standing still, not shooting back, but it's, 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 it's easy, bro. The wingman is a really good gun, man. It, it, it really just it hits hard, man. And if, if you could be accurate with it, dude, you're dropping 20 bombs like it's nothing, dude. Trust me. And, but sometimes, sometimes this gun is just a giant pain to hit shots with, man. Yeah, it, is, it really is, dude. It really is. It can be a giant pain to use. If you guys are watching this video, you guys already know that this is a pain to use. It can be a pain to use. Not everyone's going to hit 100% of their shots, and they're going to be like, yeah, it's like, they're not going to be like, man, freaking, uh, like, if you guys watch this, man, like, you know everyone's going to miss shots, okay? Even pros miss shots with the wingman, okay? It's not... Like, yeah, it is very just, it, it can be annoying, man, how, how using it sometimes, man. Sometimes you look at it, you're like, man, that, that should be hitting, right? And it, it's just not hitting, you know? You know what I mean? But, yeah. See, my aim with a wingman is cheeks, bro. It's cheeks. But also, I would very, fo I would really focus on the uh, weapons that have like a lot of recoil. For me personally, I struggle using the car iron sights. To be honest with you, I really don't know if anyone else does. But like, I mean, it ain't like crazy bad. But like, it could be better. Um, like, I like the iron sights, but I just can't, I can't like really beam with the iron sights that much. But you, but you turn over to a sight. And it's just a straight laser beam like that, man. But, like, I'm not a big fan of iron sights. I don't know. But I, I can struggle with this gun a little bit. Uh, probably the gun I struggle the most on, to be honest with everyone, is probably the Devo. Um, it, it It's awkward to explain, man. It really, really is. Like, I can control the recoil, but hitting the target is a problem. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'll get like I'll aim like when I'm if, 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 if I'm back right here I'm aiming at the dude I would aim like right here and not move my my thumb to go and kill him like I'll, I'll hit him a little bit and then I'll just do like this like that basically it's it, I don't know why I do that but it's uh I I can show you I, I'm not I don't do it on purpose it just happens like I don't even know like. Something like that, in a way. I don't know. I don't use the Devo that much, man. Uh, I think I use it like once or twice. 
with turbocharger on it uh, since season 12 dropped. So, yeah, we don't use it that much. <laughs> we do not use it that much. Um, the Havoc's another gun, but I can usually re eh, 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 control the recoil a little bit, but... I don't know, it, it's still the same boat almost, give or take. But... I usually don't mess with the energy weapons. I will mess with the energy weapons for the, uh, the Volt whenever it gets, whenever it comes out of the care package, man. I hope it comes out of the care package in Season 13, man. I really do, man. I know that the Massive is going back in and the Spitfire is coming out, but I don't know. I really hope the Reman goes back into the care package, man. Not back into, but you know what I mean. Actually, I don't know. I, I, don't know. I haven't played this game that much, uh, in the years, <clears throat> but, uh, I don't know if the Reman was ever in the care package. I don't think it ever was, but, uh, yeah. But I hope it goes in the, wing, in the care package, man, because I don't use the wingman that, lot, I'm not, that much because I miss my shots a lot. But I do use it, but I don't use it a lot. Um, but, uh, and it would really uh, <clears throat> make people use different weapons because that everyone uses it, and it pisses me off sometimes. But, yeah, you guys understand. You guys hate being, like, three-tap, four-tap with the wingman. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys don't like that. <laughs> but uh, but yeah man I mean I really hope they take put in the care package bro uh, but I love the Volt man I had never used it since it's been out of the care package so before, before the care package anyways so I'm excited to use it I'll be, I'll be running it probably every game if I can I, 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 I love this gun it, it sounds beast it, it feels beast bro it's just the recoil on it is just very controllable I don't know if that's because it's just a <clears throat> care package weapon, or if it is, uh, like, that's how it is, you know? So, we'll see. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to today's video, man. I really appreciate it, man. And my game just froze. Let's, uh, let's go. Server shutting down, man. I love you guys very, very, very much. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys very much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.